Hello, so do you know some of the tricks that are required in order to solve this maths problem within the shortest time possible? Worry not, I will show you the correct way. So make sure you watch it up to the end. So let's now start with the solution. So on our solution, this one is the maths problem that you are having. So we have 4 to the power of a, then again plus 4 to the power of a is equals to 48. So our step that you need to do, the first step we are going to factorize 4 to the power of a plus 4 to the power of a. So this one can also be written as 4 to the power of a, then into bracket 1 plus 1 is equals to 48. So let's work out the number inside the bracket, that is 4 to the power of a into bracket 1 plus 1 is 2 is equals to 48. So the next step now we shall divide both sides by 2. So here divide by 2, so this side also by 2. So 2 by 2 shall cancel, so now we shall have 4 to the power of a is equals to 2 here once 2 into 48 is 24, so is equals to 24. So now still you want to work out the value for a. So the best way that you can now introduce when you reach at this particular time or form, you can now introduce the log from both sides. So here now we shall have the log of 4 to the power of a is equals to the log of 24. So assume that we have the log of p to the power of m. So this one can also be written as m the log of p. So let's apply this one here. So here now we shall have a log 4 a the log of 4 is equals to the log of 20. 4. So from here now we shall divide both sides by the log of 4. So this side also by the log of 4. So log 4 and log 4 shall cancel each other. So now we shall remain with a. So now we shall say that our a is equals to the log of 24 all over the log of 4. So that is not the correct answer. Still we can still factorize this at this log of 24 all over the log of 4. Or in other, in other words you can still simplify it further. So here now we shall say that, so for us to simplify it further, so we shall now say that a is equals to, so the log of 24 can also be written as the log of 8 multiplied by 3, then this one all over the log of the log of 4. So assuming that we have the log of a multiplied by b, so this one can also be written as the log of a plus the log of the log of b. So taking this into consideration, so now we shall say that our value for a shall now is equals to, so we shall now have the log of 8 plus the log of, of 3. Then all those ones we shall have it all over the log of 4. So that is to mean that we shall still have a is equals to, so the log of 8 can also be written as the log of 2 to the power of 3 there, then plus this one can remain to be the log of 3 all over. So the log of 4 can also be written as the log of 2 to the power of 2. So let's now divide both sides by the log of 2 to the power of 2. So now we shall say that a is equals to so the log of 2 to the power of 3 all over the log of 2 to the power of 2 then plus the log of 3 all over the log of 2 to the power of 2. So next we shall now say that our a is equals to, so the log of 2 to the power of 3 can also be written as 3, the log of 2, then all over, so we shall still have here as 2 log 2, so 2, the log of 2, then plus the log of 3, then all over 2, the log of 2. So let's now cancel the ones that are similar, so we shall say that log 2 and log 2 shall cancel, so now our value for a is equals to 3 all over 2, then plus, so this one now shall have 1 over 2 log 3 all over the log of the log of 2. So next one we shall say that, so when, let me take you through the basics, when I have the log of a all over the log of b, so this one I can write by having now the log of a, to the base of b. So in this way we shall now have our value for a to be equals to 3 all over 2 then from there now we shall have the plus a half so we shall have the log of 3 to the base of 2 
So now these are now qualified to be our correct answer. So if you loved how we've solved this maths problem up to this end, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So let's now confirm this particular answer very, very fast if it is indeed true. So we had our problem that is 4 to the power of a, then plus 4 to the power of a is equals to 48. So here now we shall say that 4, we shall have a, that is 3 all over 2. So the plus here is a multiplication. So we shall still have again 4 to the power of a half, a half the log of 3 to the base of 2. Then now having plus here 4 to the power of 3 all over 2. Then multiply again by 4 to the power of a half the log of 3 to the base of 2. So all of this one should give us 40, 48. So let's now proceed with it by saying that so, so 4, we can still rewrite it in this way. So we can still write it as 2 to the power of 2. Then close the bracket, 3 all over 2. Then multiply by 2 to the power of 2. Then you shall have a half the log 3 to the base of 2. Then plus, so 2 to the power of 2. We shall have 3 over 2. Then multiply by 2 to the power of 2. So there we shall have a half the log of 3 to the base of 2 should give us 40, 48. So from here now we shall work it very fast by now cancelling the ones that are similar. So 2 by 2 shall cancel. So now we shall remain with 2 to the power of 3. That is 8. Then 8 multiplied by. So 2 by 2 shall cancel. So the log to the base of 2 shall cancel this 2. So there we shall remain with 3. So let's put them into bracket. Then plus here. We shall now have 2 and uh, 2 we shall cancel so that now we shall have 2 to the power of 3 that is 8 then multiply by so 2 and 2 shall cancel the log to the base of 2 shall cancel this 2 so now we shall have 8 multiplied by 3 there so this one now shall be is equals to 48 so 8 multiplied by 3 is 24 so now here now we shall have 24 plus 24 is equals to 48. So what is 24 plus 24? So that is 48 is equals to 48. So it means that we are very, very correct when we agreed by saying that our final answer for this maths question is A to be is equals to 3 all over 2 plus a half the log of 3 to the base of 2. So if you really loved how we've solved it up to that end, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.